You are about to watch a preview of a Sopography film and if you would like to watch the full film and over 600 others, please head to www.sopography.co.uk and become a member. Every sport has its own milestone, its own ultimate goal, a benchmark that separates people who enjoy their sport as a hobby and people who dedicate themselves to an addiction. For runners, it's completing a marathon in under two hours and 20 minutes. For a mountaineer, I guess it would be climbing Mount Everest. But what is the ultimate challenge for carp anglers? For myself and Mark Hoffman, it's the large expanses of wild public lakes throughout Europe containing some of the most rare and sought after big carp in existence. These are the goals we aspire to achieve. Join us for the start of a new series that sees us tackle the biggest lakes, the biggest challenges, in pursuit of the biggest carp. This is the pinnacle of carp fishing. The build up to this trip was immense. After all, for me, Lac de Deux is the ultimate European carp fishing requiring a lot of coordination and preparation by us both to successfully tackle this huge 5,000 hectare super lake. For Mark, setting out from his home in Holland would only take a few hours, whereas for me, the journey would take two days and covering almost 2,000 kilometers to arrive at our final destination, Lac du Deux. How's it going, buddy? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Look at the weather. Oh, mate, it's not bad, huh? Perfect, hey. Mate, if you'd seen it this morning, though, it was really, really cold. They said it on the radio that it was like mist until like 12 o'clock or whatever. Yeah, two degrees in the day, in the morning, sorry. And yeah, so uh, it's a bit you of a climate change. You got already something or not? Huh? You touched the rots rot already or not? No, Nothing? mate, no, mate. I've just been searching, looking around, speaking to people, trying ah. to get as much of an idea of what's going on as possible. But we're here. You know, uh, I spoke to one person this morning, yeah. was the owner of the camping, and she was not happy with me because I told her we would arrive one o'clock. And the time is now? Three o'clock. Oh, so She's gone, shit. so we have to wait till the end of the afternoon, but you can show me around. Yeah, probably. come on then. Should we jump in the van then yes, and go and take go. a look? Look at this. Welcome to the big lake, mate small proportion you can see here so this area is called Lebut basically everything from the tip of that island over there left is a reserve can't fish it we've got a lot of plateaus out here islands this is actually the last legal night swim this area here is really 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 good especially when the wind swings around so we've blown that way that bank there is going to be definitely one of the areas we're going to target in that plateau there but yeah it's just it's just out of hand this lake is your favorite lake? Do you know what? As I was driving here, I had like coming up to the lake, I had like hair standing up on the back of my neck. It's just something magical about it, mate, and the possibility of five or six 40 kilo plus carp. You just can't get this anywhere else. For me, it's the pinnacle of carp fishing. Driving round to the other side of the lake, we would check to see if the access to the water was viable from an alternative port. Angler, pike angler. Uh, pike angler. Ideally, this would be the perfect place to launch. Now, this area here is possibly one of the best areas in the lake this time of year, especially for a really, really big carp. It's got big carp form, and that's why we stood here now. But our main concern is the depth of water out in front of us. Now, normally this this slip would be closed by now, but um, yeah, at the moment it's still open. But for how many days, I'm not sure. The water going down 10 centimetres a day and looking at that now, I reckon it's probably got two days before it's closed. But, um, but yeah, we'll be here Monday morning, launching our boat and hopefully um, getting out of here and finding some carp. Heading back to the campsite to meet up with the owner, 
we will be late for our rendezvous once again. <laughs> no way. Nobody there. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Camping is going up. And I hope we have enough place because we have two vents. And one's really big. And a huge boat. What do you think they're gonna make of us cooking up park calls and stuff and I hope the camping is empty. Because yeah. otherwise for sure some complaints will <laughs> come rolling in. Okay, super. Here we are in France on a cold October morning. We're really close to the famous Lac Um I've never fished there really. But in the last couple of years, Lac Tudor turned into one of the craziest public venues in France. If you want to catch a 40 kilo carp, so 40 kilos, that's not 40 pounds, it's like 90 pounds almost. And yeah, that's just, it's, it's completely crazy. The stockwatch is in the lake now. So um, I got a little bit excited about the lake, but it's really hard to fish actually. So when Samir contacted me and said, okay, Mark, we have to tackle Lac Tudor. We have to go there end of October big carp season yeah i was in it right away the hard thing about luck to is, is you have some night spots you have to reserve them one year in advance it's really hard to get a spot and it's not really our yeah, style of fishing so there's another option and that's fishing from a boat and that's something we uh, both never did so it was a good idea to start with this on like a 5,000 hectare lake i don't know how many acres but it's huge we both didn't have a boat but we have some connections. So we managed to get a really nice aluminium boat. The Goose, the Goose Cruise, it's called. We rented it uh, from the Netherlands and we made a whole plan. Uh, we, the last weeks were just talking about it, fixing the bait, fixing the gear, fixing everything. It was quite a logistic challenge. Samir had to drive all the way from Spain. I think it's like 1,600 kilometers. For me, it's a little bit closer, fortunately. Yeah, but here we are. It's the start of the session. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I never fish with Samir together, but uh, I know we have the same kind of style, yeah, the same kind of style of fishing. Just go for it, work hard, find the fish, and then hopefully start catching them. We're here on the camping, a nice chalet. We will prepare all the gear now, prepare bait, etc. And probably the first couple of days, we will be yeah, exploring the lake, finding spots, baiting spots, etc. Yeah, and then uh, start fishing in a couple of days in the anticipation of a 40 kilo common. That will be nice. Let's go. Straight on the preparations. That well, fishing is work, I mean. Yeah, exactly. Mate. People think... always underestimate. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the difference, mate, between catching big carp and, uh, you know, and just, just doing nothing, camping. If you want to get busy and work hard, then you can really, really achieve something. So we want to get our bait prepped really for later on. We have enough to last us maybe two, three days. So we want to get tiger nuts soaking now, we're going to get some hemp soaking as well. And yeah, in a couple of days time we cook it up and it should tie in just nice. My mum always said, fail to prepare and prepare to fail. Mate, how's the sleeping arrangements going, buddy? <laughs> Do you want to show me your room? There are no bed sheets. It looks like somebody was killed here like last week. It's so <laughs> disgusting, eh? Look, there's a pillow here. I don't want to touch oh, it. Oh, mate, what is that? Yes, I won't complain. I will leave my clothes on tonight. <laughs> I'm sure it's a bit warmer than if you would sleep outside. So I'm sure tomorrow we will be 100% fit. We will have a good night yeah. and be ready for the challenge. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Right, I'm going to get my head down in my van. And good I'll night. see you in the morning, bro. Big up. How many tall kilo batteries did we bring with us today? Just two? Three. Yeah, three. Yeah, no problem. Probably somebody caught a fish there, right? Yeah. 
get that. I get that strange reflection. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed what you've just seen and as I said at the start of this video, if you'd like to watch this film in its entirety, please head over to www.sopography.co.uk and join today.